Hello and welcome back to another video. It's nice to be shooting videos again after a month or so that's been really quite busy. Uh, this is another eBay purchase. I bought a um, three five packs of cheap uh, new cassette tapes a while back and I've been listening to a playlist I put onto them while I've been working in the office. What I like about cassettes is once you stop playing them, they'll be in the same position when you start playing them again. Whereas with mini discs, you quite often go back to the start of the disc. But those cassettes that I bought, um, they they sound a bit muddy, a bit muffled. So I'll show you those cassettes in my next um, What's in My Box video, because that's where they are. I was watching a cassette comeback video the other day about all of the TDKD cassettes over the year and he, he basically came to the conclusion that they're all reliable no matter what era they come from and I managed to get these still sealed I think it was from a house clearance or something and they'd given the stuff to the uh, charity shop and the charity shop was selling them on and it literally is still sealed although that is opening the um, display pack is still sealed there so I'm going to open these up now I won't be able to demonstrate the cassettes because I'm waiting for a um, I'm waiting to be able to buy a particular cassette deck uh, on eBay when one comes up, which has auto biasing and auto calibration on it. Because and then I'll be able to see whether there's if, you know, once I've uh, correctly calibrated each cassette, I'll be able to see how they sound compared to other cassettes. So let's try and get open, this open. Try not to destroy the packaging, to be honest. Might not be so easy. Okay, this is a rare treat. I've never had this many cassettes new in a box before. So I've no idea what era these are from. I wonder if there's anything on the cassette to tell us, like a copyright date or something like that. So these are multi-country, multi-language. I couldn't get any D90s for a, a reasonable cost. So I'm made in Luxembourg. I don't want the D60s because, like I say, I just play one, it also re reverses and uh, plays the other side, and then I swap the tapes over, so it doesn't matter how long they are, really. So I'll look at the box, see if there's any dates on the box. I don't think there are. I'll a quick look earlier on. No, so if you know, I'm sure there's lots of people who are experts in cassettes, if you know what the date is for these, let me know, but I'm going to go ahead and open one. Trying to minimise reflections. So I think this is one of the latter ones because it's got a welded shell and they used to have screw shells in them. So I suppose I'm going to need my trusty Bic because I'm sure somebody's going to want to look at the um, colour of the tape. It's hard to tell. It's Oh, autumn has come really fast all of a sudden. A couple of weeks ago I was sitting in the garden in my shorts and now it's a horrible day out there. Because the tape's almost transparent, can you see that? The tape is transparent, let's get something easier to point with. You can see underneath, underneath the, the tape, the tape is transparent, there you go, you can just see it there. 
nevertheless they're apparently quite good cassettes no matter what era they are but I think these are the um, the latter versions the latter years that they produced them let's have a quick look at the uh, J card I'm not really into all of this stuff but I'm sure some of you will know what's going on and be more interested in it than I am it's quite faint actually this is quite faint there's the little back of the stickers yeah I remember these from back in the day right that's it for now um, next video I'm planning to shoot is a another one in the what's in my box series which has also got cassettes and a Nintendo Game Boy in there and a few other bits and pieces so um, stick around I'll try and do videos more regularly but I can't commit to that and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.